Here's a quick video showing you guys step by step how to install Raptor on Windows. After you purchase, you're going to go to our website, click on account at the very top. Here's your account page where you'll be able to click on download now under your available downloads. As soon as you download, you'll see your PDF file, guys, where you can download your Win32 or Win64 bit versions. After you download, you'll be able to see your zip file. Here's where you can extract it by double clicking on it. We'll turn it into a folder. Like you see here, if you click inside the folder, you'll see your instruments folder. You'll, as well, you'll also see your DLL file. If you, Inside of your instruments folder, you see all your instruments. Let's back out of there. We'll also create another page because what we want to do is keep those two open. So that we're going to click on your C drive, program files. Then you go down to VST plugins. And here is where we're going to drag both of those two files into. So we'll drag your DLL, copy both of those. You can copy and paste over or you could just drag and drop over just like you see us doing now. And now you'll see your Raptor VST.instruments in there. That's going to be important for Im importing your uh, expansion packs. We'll show in a couple seconds. So we can go back. Here you see we have an ex uh, Electro expansion pack up here, Volume 2. You see all the instruments in that expansion pack. And what we're going to do is copy all 70 of those instruments. You can see it's copying now. And then what we're going to do is find that raptor.vst.instruments folder, which you see here, this is what contained all of our instruments. And we're just going to paste directly in here. And now it's going to add all the presets from the expansion pack with the stock presets that come with your Raptor. So now when you load up your Raptor in your music DAW, it's going to show not only the stock instruments, but now all of your expansion instruments are going to show as well. Let's back out of here and let's show you guys, uh, for all the FL Studio guys, you guys are going to set up a little differently. So what we're going to do is go ahead and show you now, we'll take, we'll go back here to our raptor.vst win32. And if you're using FL Studio guys, what we'll do is let's go um, click on your C drive program files x86. You'll find your version of FL Studio. Image line, FL Studio 9, we'll go to plugins, VST, and here is where you're gonna drag and drop that raptor.vst.dll as well as your raptor vst.instruments folder. Instead of putting it in a VST plugins folder, you will place it in this VST folder that's inside of your image line folder. And now for the last step, you could jump inside of FL Studio, click on options, Choose File Settings and make sure that right here under where it says VST Plugins Extra Search Folder that it reads that path to our VST folder. Okay, guys? So it's going to say C Drive Program Files x86, Image Line, FL Studio 11, Plugins, VST because that's where we place that DLL file and that instruments file. Now, when you go under Channels, click Add One More. You'll choose, you scroll down to the bottom where it says refresh, choose fast scan, it'll show found one new plugin, you'll choose, you'll put a little F next to it, it'll show Raptor, put the little F next to it, then you can get out of here, and under channels, this is your list of plugins, it'll show Raptor under here, under your list of plugins, and it's that simple guys. Enjoy, hopefully you learned something from this video, this is Studio Link VST, and we're going to keep the videos coming. Thank you.